The optimal consumption point, or the amount of goods or services that we are willing and able to buy, changes when our income changes. Here we have a graph showing the indifference curves and budget line for songs and DVDs. The budget line represents that we have $100 and songs cost a dollar and DVDs cost 20. But what happens if our income doubles? So we're now making $200. We need to construct the new budget line. If we spend all of our $200 on songs and songs cost a dollar a piece, then 200 divided by 1 is 200 and we are able to purchase 200 songs. If we spent all of our money on DVDs and DVDs cost $20, then the number of DVDs we are able to afford is 200 divided by 20 which is equal to 10. We denote that point with a dot where it says 10 DVDs and 0 MP3s. Our budget line is constructed by connecting these two points. We then want to identify the new optimal consumption point, that is how many songs in DVDs are we now willing and able to buy. To identify the optimal consumption point, we identify the point along the budget line that is just touched by the highest indifference curve that it can reach. So while this point here, or even this point here, make us happy and use all of our money, at each of those points we could be happier. Since we like songs and DVDs, we'd like to have more. The happiest we can be is at this point here. at 110 songs and four and a half DVDs. For the purposes of this discussion, we'll assume that we can have fractions of DVDs. Think of it as being able to watch just half a movie. That new optimal consumption point you see occurs at four and a half DVDs and 110 songs. We can also find the optimal consumption point when our income is cut in half. So suppose instead we only have $50 rather than $200 or $100. Indifference curves represent our preferences, so they won't change. But our budget line represents what we can afford. And as our income decreases, the amount we can afford also decreases. So we construct a new budget line. If we have $50 and songs cost a dollar and we spend all of our money on songs, we can buy 50 songs. That number comes from taking 50 divided by 1 is equal to 50. If we spend all of our money on DVDs and we have $50, DVDs cost $20, then the maximum we could afford if we spent all of our money on DVDs is two and a half DVDs. We represent this point by putting a dot at two and a half DVDs. The new budget line is constructed by drawing a line between these points. The new optimal consumption point is the point at which we touch the highest indifference curve possible from the budget line. Now yes again it's true that you can't have two and a half DVDs. But even though you can't have two and a half DVDs, your budget line still needs to go to the actual number calculated that would be if you spent all your money on DVDs and that's two and a half. The reason we draw our budget line to that point is because there are points along this budget line where there are whole numbers of DVDs and whole numbers of music. For example, for example, our optimal consumption point occurs at one DVD and 30 songs.